You may have heard it before, or you may have actually uttered these words. Why in the world did I wait so long for that underperforming -emplo under employee to go? In some firms today, it may actually be called underperforming epidemic. But no matter what words you're using to describe the problem, the results are the same. Our firms are suffering when leaders do not take action on underperforming employees. Okay, so what in the world do we do to make this issue go away? Well, I've been a part of Strategic Coach for years. And one of the things that they talk about there is that the average is where the worst of the best meets the best of the worst. So are you full of average employees? That's not the kind of firm you want. What we want to make sure that we're doing is looking at those underperforming employees and we're making sure that they're not a part of our firm anymore. But how do we solve the problem? Many of you are either um, working with trying to figure out that issue or you're working with trying to deal with the issue or maybe you've just stuck your head in the sand and decided not to worry about, about it at all. Ask yourself today what you're doing. Sometimes we point out their shortcomings or we say little blunt comments that maybe we hope they get it and that they'll change that behavior. Very unlikely. Sometimes we reduce their job responsibilities, which much of the time means that we're shifting that load over to our higher emerging leaders. And guess what? They're going to get sick of that after a while and they'll simply leave and try to find something else. That's not the way to handle it either. So then we say, okay, that's it, we're gonna fire them. Well, <laughs> that can work sometimes, but honestly, I've had great people that have left our firms, gone somewhere else, and they've overachieved there. You know what, we didn't manage them well. So then what do we do? Maybe we do nothing. Well, sadly, that's the most likely that's gonna happen in your firm. We simply ignore it and hope that they'll change on their own. Again, highly unlikely that's going to happen. And I'll bet you have figured out that that's a part of your life. Well, here's some things that you can do. How about daily communication? Yep, I know that's a lot of work, but you know what? That is something that you have to do with our underperformers to help them understand what they're doing wrong and help them make that correction. Communication is absolutely key. How about training your supervisors and your managers? We know that it's not all up to us as the leaders of the firm. It's up to everyone to help teach and train and help them get what they need to help those underperformers. So get the, the supervisors the training they need to handle and be the true leader you want them to be. Number three, how about if you coach or counsel or mentor them? Mentoring is absolutely something you should do and mentoring programs are being um, sucked dry in the firms that we're in today. Uh, you have to set up a great mentoring program. You have to teach the mentors as well as the mentees what they're gonna be learning and achieving there. But mentoring is absolutely a way that you can help that underperformer feel like they're important and know what they should do. How about tying the job of the person to the overall firm goals? By the way, you need overall firm goals to get there. So making sure you tie those duties and those tasks that that underperformer is having to do to the overall importance of the firm helps them feel engaged. And that's exactly what you want that underperformer to feel um, and that can really help them. How about teach them, don't just say no. If they've done something that you don't like, don't ignore it. Don't just say, don't do that. Don't just take it back and do it yourself. Sit down and teach them how to do it the way you want it done. No just doesn't work for them. Uh, what does work and what will make them a star performer going forward is to teach them the why behind why they can't do something. Um, have them stop what they're doing and have them start doing it the right way. The next thing that you have to do as a leader is write it down. Make sure you capture all of the communications you're having, the training that you're doing, the mentoring you're doing, everything that you're doing with every single employee, because the reality is, uh, whether you like it or not, if they cannot change that behavior, if they cannot become a superstar in your firm, then the time may come when you have to let them go and you need all of that documentation written down. So do you have an underperforming employee today? 
Today I have given you all kinds of tips on what you can do to change that behavior. I know you can do it and I believe you can.